press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Amazingly, crafted handmade blue pottery tiles with wonderful handcrafted design. Tiles have been used for centuries to create intricate pattern floors and walls. Tiles can be arranged in nearly limitless designs to create unique patterns for bathrooms, kitchen backslash, patios, and just about any other room in your house. Before the clay enters, the pug mill all sticks, roots, and debris are removed. The clay blend should be such, that any LKG lump going into the mill is quite close to, the correct proportion of each clay type, and the correct water content or, around 22-27% to by weight. If the clay, has hard pea-sized lumps, the pug mill will not prepare it adequately. The feed clay must be well softened, and broken down. The flywheel press. Greatest flexibility is provided using a double action press for high demand flat roof tiles with a single action press for ridge tiles. By double action we mean that there are two lower dies, so while one die is being emptied of a finished tile and loaded with clay, the other die is being pressed. The double action press gives a great range of production levels as it can easily be used as a single action press if the factory needs to operate at low. Maintenance. The flywheel press must be lubricated daily in all places where steel parts move. On the threaded shaft, the die slides, the shaft die bearing, and the lower die rails. Periodically the press should be stripped of oil, cleaned, and re-lubricated to remove residual grit from the slides and bearings. The dies themselves are lubricated with each slab of clay. Typically the joining of dip plates themselves determines the stopping place for the flywheel. In pressing, sufficient clay is put into the press so a layer of clay is squeezed out between the dies to avoid steel on steel contact of the die plates. Tile racks and pallets. After the tile is pressed and trimmed, it must be thoroughly dried before firing. Exactly how long this drying takes depends greatly on the moisture content of the clay, the particle size of the clay composition, the thickness of the tile, and the prevailing weather conditions of the area. In very hot areas, a tile may dry in five days, while 10 days may be required under some conditions. With an output of around 5,000 tiles per day. It is clear a factory must have room for between 25,000 and 50,000 tiles in its drying. Racks. Drying racks and pallets are one of the more expensive elements in a tile factory, so careful planning is called for. The racks are typically built up to 14 feet high to conserve factory space, usually against outside walls for easy access and exposure to drying breezes. To stack tiles, boards are put across the aisle, resting on the stringers of the racks. Since the racks will be holding hundreds of tiles and one or more people handing tiles up, they must be sturdy. Uprights are placed on approximately 1.5 meters center and one built from 5 cm XL 0 cm lumber. The stringers are notched and nailed into 
the uprights, and one made from 3 cm into 6 cm lumber. The aisles are around, 1.5 rn wide to allow adequate space for loading, and unloading of the racks. The Kiln Construction Construction of this kiln, takes a skilled supervisor, and a crew of five skilled masons, and three laborers about three weeks. Four red brick types are used. A standard, fives low into 20 cm building brick, an arch ceiling brick tapering from 7.5 to 6.5 cm over a length of, 29 cm, a firebox arch brick tapering from, 14 cm to 7 cm over a length of, 2 lcm, and a doorway arch brick tapering from, 10 cm to 6 cm over a length of 22 cm. Of course, thanks for watching video. Please, subscribe this channel.